Morgan Pearson recently said in a tweet, volume is important. Did you believe that a year ago today? The problem is early on in my career, I started, well, as you know, I started like writing the blog and I even started doing YouTube actually pretty early and that's cool. The problem is I started to get a lot of feedback and I started to listen to the feedback and a lot of the people giving feedback probably didn't really know what they were talking about, but I still listened. Very easily influenced person. But anyways, there was a couple pieces of, you know, feedback that I took to heart and one of them was... Uh, at the Oakley House in 2014, my first time, you know, seeing a lot of my heroes in real life. And uh, Keenle was in there before me, and he turned to me as he was leaving. And he said, hey, Lionel, stop doing an Iron Man every day. And that started to get the wheels turning in my head, saying, what does he mean by that? And I took that to mean less volume less Iron Man race pace type stuff. So there was that. And then there was also that same camp actually when I went to Kona in 2014. I did a decently large week of training as a lot of people do when they go on a training camp. And I posted about it in my blog. And Dark Mark, who was a, I don't know, what would you say? A critic? I don't know, something. Some sort of a triathlon personality uh, said, what does Lionel's training and 80s hairstyles have in common. Too much volume. Big volume day. This is uh, going to be a triple threshold day. Four times a thousand at upper aerobic threshold in the swim. Four times 45 minutes upper threshold on the bike. 75 minutes threshold upper aerobic threshold in the run. So it's going to be a huge day. The more volume you can do, if done smartly or properly, the better you'll get. I mean, that's just that's that's pretty well established. You know, when you're when you're younger and you're a runner or whatever, the scouts. One of the things they want to know is how much volume are you doing, because that's a big area for improvement. If you're doing really well and you're not really running very much then then you have a lot of room for improvement what's funny is <clears throat> i've never actually really done much volume in my career i i don't know how or why i've gotten well not anymore but back in the day i had like established i don't know a persona i guess that i do a ton of volume and that i'm insane and overtrain and just destroy myself and don't get me wrong, I've done, you know, I've done a lot of intensity. I love intensity. But I've not done very much volume in comparison to just about everyone. Uh, I've not done much volume. In fact, I remember even, let's say, four years ago, somewhere in that ballpark, Cody Beals doing a post saying, Oh, I'm super low volume. And he, I think he was averaging like 17 and a half hours training per week. And I, I won up them and I was like, no, nope, not as low volume as I'm doing. And I was doing like 16 and a half hours training a week. And, you know, there's guys who are biking more than that each week. 
week in and week out consistently as well as swimming and running on top of that and so it's a long story short volume in and of itself is not going to make you very good if all you do is just random volume and lots of it right but volume done properly at proper intensities is extremely beneficial and obviously when you're training for a race the last eight hours <clears throat> having the propensity to train a lot is going to be a big advantage because of the muscle load that you're adapted to and the muscle fatigue that you're adapted to certainly it's been a problem for many years for me it's just muscle fatigue how do you expect to you know not fatigue when you're not really training very much so of course yeah I've been able to do really well at three and a half four hours but I was training you know no more than three or four hours a day on, on certain days and so so then muscle fatigue would set in amidst other problems His last training block was seven hours and 32 minutes. And that looked like... And then uh, I would take three days easy after that. So so total, so I could accomplish with that block, so 10 day block, so you could do three in a month, right? Of which case, three, six, nine, plus I would have an easy day in the middle times three, 12 of the days were very low volume or, or even off. So 12 of 30 days was low volume. And this was in 17. That was in 17. The last year that you did decent at a I Ironman. I wouldn't say I did decent, to be honest with you. Maybe the result was okay, but like I, I was, I pushed myself like as far as I humanly could push myself. And, and Patrick outran me by um, like 12 minutes and 10 miles. Like it's not very good. Just because I finished second doesn't mean it was very good. It wasn't good. It still wasn't good. It was poor. So, but you haven't, since then, your volume has completely gone down. Oh, and then it went down from there. Absolutely, yes. All... How important is volume with intensity? Well, it's give and take, right? The more volume you do, you have to be very careful with intensity. If you do massive volume and massive intensity, you're going to destroy yourself. So that's kind of the beauty of the, the program is you never really work that hard. Because if you worked hard, like crazy hard, you would get destroyed and injured or overtrained or whatever. They're one and the same. So <clears throat> that's kind of why just constantly holding myself back I could have went quite a bit harder on those intervals and I, I would estimate I averaged uh, for three times an hour or so 300 ish watts I certainly could have went quite a bit harder but I'm just trying to log lots and lots of time continuously and so I just hold myself back it's all good be able to work out again in a day. And so, I think that's definitely been something that's been lacking in my training, is that because I would do so much intensity, I just was too destroyed to do any volume. And that's okay, I got away with it in 70.3, but my muscles are just destroyed in an Ironman, usually around five to six hours. And so, I mean, nothing is cut and dry. There's many issues, <clears throat> has been many issues, but certainly a piece of that puzzle has just been a lack of load on the muscles for long enough. And the muscles can only compensate for poor training processes for so long. And so now, you know, I'm coming up on five hours of training so far today. I'm completely fine. Still a bit of training adaptation to go, of course. The races, I believe, 
nine weeks from today. Uh, so there's still quite a bit of adaptation to go. Still want to push those thresholds up. But I definitely would like to get to a point where the distance of an Ironman is not a problem. It's definitely been a huge problem uh, for the last while, perhaps ever. And so as you saw with, well, I saw firsthand with Gustav, I mean, the Ironman wasn't that difficult for him. Truly wasn't that difficult. You know, the speed is what becomes difficult um, when you are properly and adequately prepared. So for me, undoubtedly, the Iron Man itself has been a big problem. So I can't derive anything from it. Are you, uh, feel like you're getting into bike shape? Um, yeah. Yeah, I'll be in the best bike shape. Like, I know we always say this bullshit, and I say this bullshit all the time, but this time, <laughs> I don't need to flex. I don't want to flex. It's of no relevance, you know what I mean? But I can tell that, I mean, I am going to be pretty next level. Like, to just do a three hours and 40 minutes ride after a pretty hard swim, you know? That used to be my long ride most of the time. So, I'm getting in shape, definitely. I've definitely been lacking in some departments. What's next? I'll have a bowl of cereal and then I got uh, a run workout. Not yet. I mean, I'm excited to race a 70.3. I'm not. I'm not ready to race Ironman yet. Still have some work to do for sure. But soon. I mean, it's nine weeks away. Like, if you're peaking nine weeks out or even remotely peaking, that's a bit of a problem. So we want to have room for growth. <laughs>